What up? It's your boy Realistic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a futuristic type beat. What's going to inspire me for this type beat was by one of his singles with Devin Terrell called Bodied from this album called Coast to Coast. So let's get in Garage Band. Let's get it, let's get it popping. Let's lead all these sounds. I do not need them all. I just want the piano. I'm just going to create that. Let's start with the... Get the keyboard out. Let's see here. Well, I'll be needing this sound right here. All right. All right, that right there. Let's go ahead and open that. Scroll it up. Let's see. there so it's gonna sound like with all three uh, three notes at the same time stack up the metronome copy that oh, not even oh that's not a tip always always check your notes because they might be off beat, they might be, you see this right, you see a little gap? That means there's a gap right here. Go ahead and fix that right here. You don't want that in the beat, it's gonna mess it up. All right, let's just make this half. Let's see here, let's break it up. All right, let's see what that sounds like. Gonna copy those two, and we're gonna bring this down to A sharp. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, all right. Copy that. Back a little bit. I do delete that. I need to zoom this up a little bit. And then hmm. yeah, just like this. Let's do two again, copy here. And yeah, make sure always to have the uh so it doesn't make sure the sounds fit together because sometimes I'll be doing that and it won't even function. So get this. Let's go up. All right. Get this up. See what that sounds like. Uh oh, we have a sound we don't need. What is going on here? Want that right there? Just recopy that. All right. And I would like to have trumpets, just like that song that Futuristic did. So let's go to the Legacy. 
Logic. And by the way, if you can download Logic Pro, it's on the higher end. Trust me, it's three, I got it for lucky for me. One of my friends got it for free. I got it for free. This app is three hundred dollars. I want to show you a description where to get this application. It comes with so many sounds, like wow, like you can just go to the preferences sound library and download some so some sounds for your uh, for GarageBand. So let's go to orchestra brass and let's go to legato so it's it's not that that oomph you want to have the long notes all right so at the end of this you want this to have a feel to it so we have to get this split them in half bring this all the way down to the all right let me bring this one down let's see what that sounds like All right. So it's synchronized. It's all together. All right. I want. Let's call this trumpet one. Now we're gonna get the same thing here make it more feel like is we need sounds to make a filler so we highlight all this then we copy and paste with command V and then I drag lowest note E2 e all the way to the lowest one let's see what this sounds like see that has that that, uh, that gurgle so it's Yeah, we had that that first sound. Then we're gonna to go to the trumpet high one. So we go here. We copy and paste that. We bring this up an octave. All the way up. So we have a high feel to it. Alright. Let's see what they sound together. See what they're nice and synchronized together. Alright. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to copy this one low and make this two because now we're going to get into the the mixes then we're going to split this one in half Let's see where am i going to split this undo split undo split Threes. I split these in threes. Split here. And I split here. See that that uh that glitch split. Let's go to here. 
let's put that here let's keep on splitting and it will make a uh, cool effect to the, uh, the first melody we just did earlier so let's see here go here do the same thing here split split that let's see what that sounds like All right, now the problem is that it's kind of a, a pushy feel to it. So now we're gonna put this statico in order. Stack. Now see what that sounds like. That oomph to it. All right. And see what that sounds without the trumpets. Let's do it with the high note first. To the second low one, to the same melody. Now we're gonna add the trumpet low to this to see what the effect will be. Now we keep we're gonna drag this up to 2.5 because we want to hear the effect and put this at 3.0. Um, now we're gonna get this same effect, copy the whole entire thing. That's all that we get to go into here. And then we're going to delete all of this is we want to get the high effect of the same melody in there all right we put all this just in case we deleted an accident all right now we have the same effect but of the uh, of the same note, so we're gonna call this trumpet high two. Oh my bad. <laughs> all right, two and low two. We're gonna go copy all this. We're gonna copy it again for the second time. Command V. Wrong paste. Right here. Now we're going to drag this down to the other octave down. And because we did an accident, it got we copied it. We're going to go down an octave. Now we have the low one. Let's go up. All right. Now we have the high version too. Now let's add all, all four together. Now let's add the horns, the, the, the deep horns. So we're gonna get, oh my bad. <laughs> let's not do that all right so now we're gonna get we're gonna add four new horns no three we need we're gonna use a french horn a trombone and a tuba so we're gonna put this to a french horn joint static trombone static and tuba static all right so now we're gonna go here. Going to my bad. We're gonna do this. Copy and paste what you just copied. Command V. And now we're going to take all the other ones so we can hear just the 
French horn for now. Get all the, the low ones first. You want to have that right there. Now we're going to listen to the uh, low one first. Yeah, that's all that's all I need right now. We're going to copy and paste this together so we have more two octave at the same time. that again. I'm going to do the same thing here. Same thing here. Dry. Get the same note here. Go here to this other note, and it's that one right there. be between the two black bars. Let's see what that sounds like. Alright, now we're going to copy this. Go up. Alright. All them sound together, so. This is a 3.0 for now. Another tuba.
Now let's get some choir for this song as well. So let's get... So this one right here will be two of them. And these will be two of them. And let's have one of this. So we're going to do... Choir. So this right here. This right here. And we're going to copy this melody here. And right there. Copy this. So we have two of those. So we need a lot of highs and a lot of lows. So you feel feel great about it. So let me get copy the fourth low note. Copy paste that. So now we're going to be already got the the, the uh, high trumpet. Low trumpet. So we go to require in the Legacy, we go to sympathy. I'll find it. Let's see, I think it's in this one. All right, the gospel, the gospel uh, ensemble. So we're going to use this. We're going to use the same thing. For the logic, go to voices, choir, ensemble, choir, low two. Now we're going to get that. Going to do the logic, another voices in the class of ensemble. All right, now we're going to do the Choir for the second melody. Voices choir. Because okay, so now we got the the uh, the low one. this to zero zero because I don't want to overpower other sounds. Let's put that all to zero zero and figure out the sounds later. Always gotta keep yourself organized while making a, a, a beat. Because if you think about it, the big picture is this this uh this whole garage band right here is your canvas and you need to make your make it look nice and for this you make it make it organized for your uh for your song you're doing all right so we got choir 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 two Choir high one. All right. Once you do that together, we're gonna to see what that sounds like. And right now.
Let the choir right here. Oh, yeah. It's the other ones too. It's like a higher version of this one. When we get that choir out the way. We're gonna add our another three melodies. This is all about orchestra. It's all about an orchestra, orchestra beat. In the future, this is all about the orchestra and other flows. But let's see here. Let's get let's get a flute. Let's go to Legacy, Symphony. There's lots of sounds for that. Legacy, Logic, Orchestra, Woodwinds. Let's get a flute there. Let's get a what would work for this? Okay, let's go to piano. Gotta have that piano. And then we're going to do a violin. Symphony, logic, orchestra, strings. Let's go with a violin. I get though. All right. Roots. Piano. All right, I'm going to copy this. Only one one sound from that. Let's see here. Lengthy into the Let's see here. Hmm. Let's see what other sounds we got. Put that too. Copy that, all that. See what this sounds like. Copy the same thing here. Let me do that again. Split that. Split that up. I'm going to copy this for the piano as well.
comes through right here will be a chorus melody. So I read here that sound is for the chorus. So, so we got our melodies now. So let's start with the first sound. that right there that's what I do not need all right set her set her a uh, her base up to this Our drums. I said a lot around six drums. All right, add another. All right, we're going to go to Adventure Kit, Chat Door. Chat Door, let's just do it this way. And we go to just push to command D. D, D, D. Snare one. Oh, my bad. Snare one. Snare two. Snare three. Bass drum. I had one. I had two. Get two more. Clap. And for that one, we'll need the synthesizer, bass, and there. Copy this. And then do all these other sounds because we only want to hear the snare. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's get copy in the B. All right, copy that. We only need that sound. Do that for every other two. This right there. 
always have reverb up to this little dot, like right diagonal. Swing that a little bit. Let's turn that down up to there. So we got our snare now. So now we're going to do a double snare. So we can have that uh, in a nice rhythm effect. Copy that. Zero, zero. Let's put all these to zero, 00 because, you, like I said, if you don't want to have other sounds overlapping others. Alright. Do the same. same thing on the other side. Okay, now we got our snare. Got snare three. We are going to do the snare roll. So when the bass drops, we'll have our own. Just play one of the sounds and see what we get. Okay, we got our let's be a little unique here. I don't have that. Not at all. Let's make this into a double. Got our snare roll. Now for the bass drum. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I got my bad, my mom just texted me. And we double this here. All right. And we repeat that cycle.
All right. Now for the hi hats. Let's see here. So hold Command V to get to the end. Oh, Five F in it. Let's double this right here. I don't like this high hat version. Let's go. This and paste a little bit. And then do another double. hi-hats we're gonna do another hi-hat copy that make that one make this longer copy the other two copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste Paste, paste, yeah, copy and paste. Not to clap. Now we're going to hit the step sit bass. We're going to get the bass drum and we're going to put this down here. Forget the round sound, but let me just move them all up here. 
what is what? All right. Trust me, this is not the sound I want either. I'm going to change it after I connect all these all these together. My bad for that. Right. And with, especially when you have that sub bass with the bass drum, it sounds really good. Trying to find and we're gonna get this note and bring it up to for this Yeah. And basically we're done guys. We're done. Time to add some some fix. Just to basically now we just gotta do is just fix the how it will sound in the actual song. So nothing's unpowering. Get the clap in there. The hi-hats in there. That's our first melody. See what it sounds like. Equalizer. Let's bring it up. Bring it up five every single one. Now we have our base.
outside our other sounds. melodies. Let's see what the snare sounds like. The snare roll for the uh, sound, the thing. Yeah guys, like, this is what I like to do and Futuristic is one of my inspirations to make beats. I love his music, I love his, his talent and I want you guys to show my talent how to make a Futuristic type beat for the single body from the Coast to Coast album. Look in the description. Let me add my, uh, my tag, my great, great tag. By the way, this is what the album looks like, coast to coast, right here, bodied. I can't really play it because copyright, copyright restrictions. But let me go here to my recent added. Let's get the. That this beat will make your speakers blow up, blow up, blow up. Realistic on the beat. Let's drag that here. All right, all right. I need to figure out how to get this one little key. All right here. That this beat will make your speakers blow up, blow up, blow up. Realistic on the beat. Are you going to know how to how I got that tag? I got linked in the description. One of my uh, one of one of these guys I looked up called Knocked House. Knocked House. He's a a DJ, and he uh, he's in he lives in California, and basically you choose what you want, the tag you want. But each tag is ten, it's around twenty dollars. I got my, I got three, so it was, it was sixty dollars. So I got three of them. So I like this. This tag fits this, this beat. So. This beat will make your speakers blow up, blow up, blow up. Realistic on the beat. All right, let's hear it one more time.
realistic at. Let's be more realistic, and I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna post the video off. I hope you learned something. In the future times, I'm gonna have more tutorials on what I need, what to show you guys, how to make this type of beats, right? How to make this type of beat, and learn how to make yours garage band. That's what I like to do. Links in the description. Peace.